Oh, still Mills with the fish, yeah, man, yo. Heading to work, it's Wednesday. Let's get into some shit, man. I got a few things to talk about. But first, we're going to keep it relegated to this, man. Demetrius Andre and David Benavidez allegedly are in talks for a fight later on this year in November. I think it's a good fight. I think it's a I think it's a good fight, man. Um it's a shame that Andre has waited this long to fight somebody of his caliber. But I think it's a good fight, man. Um on pay-per-view though is nasty. There's no reason why this fight should be on pay-per-view, man. Like it's like y'all ain't one. Y'all have had two successful years, or two successful years, two successful fights this year. Why would you slow up your momentum by doing a a pay-per-view like this, man. Like, you know, you didn't do shit with Caleb Plant. And Caleb Plant, main, you know, he was a main event with Canelo Alvarez. That didn't do anything for his stock. As far as popularity going, marketability goes, they ain't do shit. They did putrid numbers. And as much as people try to gas you to be David Benavidez to be this attraction or whatever that you know that some you know niggas is worried about you know him you know uh, uh usurping their you know them in popularity as far as this mexican monster up moniker goes man you're wrong nobody knows david benavidez that's just being real don't nobody know that dude and it showed and now you put him in the ring with a dude like Demetrius Andre, who the last time he fought, he wasn't even a co-man. That nigga was on like, like one of the first fights that got aired. He fought before Boots. That's sad. That is sad. Y'all gonna put that on pay-per-view? Y'all have lost your goddamn mind, man. It's like y'all had two phenomenal big blockbuster fights this year. Why not ride that wave? I'm not a fan of the PBC, man, but if they can continue to give us fights, by all means, stick around. It'll do the sport some good. It'll do the sport some good. But y'all you know, y'all are ahead of the curve with this fight, so why not a lie? All right, cool, we ain't gonna throw this one on paper if you let them have this, and let's start building our revenue back up, man. It costs far less to throw on a regular Showtime fight than it does a fucking pay-per-view. God damn, man. I just, I don't get, y'all take two steps forward and one step back. It just doesn't make much sense to me, man. But nonetheless, it is a real good fight. I'm I'm happy for the fight if it goes down. Um, one thing I don't like, like I said, man, every time, whenever you're on internet and in these social media spaces, you always going to have something to talk about. And the talk, you know, the the the, the logic today, it, or not the logic, but the rhetoric of the day is, yo, man, Canelo, or Bene, Benavidez is doing something that Canelo was scared to do. Which is fight Demetrius Andre. Y'all niggas is a trip, bro. Like it always circles back to Canelo. It always circles back to Canelo, man. Like it's wild that he, he said it last. What was that like last year, the year before? Man, go fight everybody else, and I will fight the winner. Now, good job, kudos to y'all for actually doing so, man. But how you gonna try and use shaming tactics to get a nigga to fight you? Oh, I'm fighting Benavidez, right? Can you see who? I, oh, I'm fighting. I'm I'm fighting Andre. You see Canelo? You Canelo ran from him. Like, come on, man. The same tactic, bro. This is why your ass had to apologize. You and your daddy. You and your daddy, man. Like, I, you know, I was listening to Goodfellas. Shout out to Goodfella TV, man. And um, you know, he just, you know, he despises Canelo Alvarez. And like, I, I'm always gonna be a dude who's like, I, I get it. You know, like the deeper shit. I, I'm I'm completely understanding of that, man. But. And David Benavid and Jose's in particular, and his, and you know, and his knock against him was he's annoying. It's just like, yo, Caleb Plant was talking greasy, the drug cheat and everything like that. It was just more, you know, I don't know. That just wasn't as pestilent as as the shit that Jose Benavidez was saying. Oh man, he's too worried about golf, and he done. He this and that and the third. It's time for the Mexican monster. He'll never fight another Mexican. He'll never do this. It's like, yo, bro, I go through the gauntlet. I fight Golovkin. I fight Jane Danny Jacobs. I fight Irizmany Laura. I fight Miguel Cotto. I fight Floyd Mayweather. I fight Calvin Smith, Billy Joe Saunders. 
I fight Caleb Plant, the dude that you were supposed to take care of four years ago when y'all were both undefeated world champions. You don't fight him until after I stop him, and yet you still don't stop him, and you still running your fucking mouth. The Mexican monster. It just gets to a point where it's like, yo, you getting on my nerves. I don't even want to fight you no more, man. I'm like, I, I don't want to be in the same room as you. I don't want to do none of that. You dig it? You know, I, I'm not, I think that's more of a reason to fight him. But some of these fighters, you know, it's a certain level of professionalism within them. That they're like, nah, man, if I get, if I feel like I'm going to do something outside of, you know, I can't go to the, pre the press conference and be myself and not worry about slapping the shit out of you, then I, it's just something that I got to get away from. But I, I'm not mad at it, but the dude was definitely aggravating, like, yo, you on my fucking nerves. You dig, but all that shit is somewhat dissipated. And they're following instruction. Go fight everybody else. And I will fight the winner. And when he says that and they actually go to do so, y'all want to use the shaming tactics. Like, and it, I don't even know if, so much so if it's y'all. Well, actually it is. It, you know, it, it definitely is because Andre is still doing oh, I haven't really seen an interview of him, you know, recently. But, you know, he was, he was doing that shit. He was doing that shit. He's been doing that shit the whole year. He's been doing that shit the whole year, man. Yeah, it's like, you know, the shaming tactics, man. It's like, yo, since when is... I, <laughs> yo, this shit is... It's embarrassing. That's what it is. It's embarrassing, man. Like, you about to try to shame, you know, guilt trip me into fighting y'all niggas. Or try to guilt trip me into fighting y'all. When y'all are finally doing what it is that I told you to do. Dude has a history of fighting the fighters that he wants to fight, that y'all want to see him fight. Just because it doesn't happen on your time doesn't mean that it ain't, that it ain't gonna happen. I move how I want to move, and if you're not showing me that you trying, you know you on, you know you lock and step with me as far as accomplishment goes and pushing yourself, I'm not even gonna entertain you. I ain't mad at that. I wasn't mad at. We, I, I wasn't the biggest fan of him fighting b ball, but I understood it. You know, listen, this ain't about Canelo. This this ain't about Canelo. This is about David Benavidez and Demetrius Andre, man. All in all, it's a good fight. It should be an entertaining fight, man. Um, I, I don't know. I don't think it's a 50-50 fight. Um, but it's a good fight nonetheless, man. I don't know how much is left for Andre. It should, man, I, if we being real... <laughs> Andre should have more than enough left, man, because he hasn't been in no fight that's really taken anything out of him. He hasn't been through any sort of sustained punishment. He hasn't been in no 50-50 fight. He hasn't been in none of that. If he goes in there and he get outlined in chalk, it's because that he hasn't fought at the highest level. He hasn't went in there and fought and faced off with anybody, you know, who, who's in a position to push him. David Benavidez has that in Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant was able to push him. Even Darrell, to a certain degree, was able to push him. He would be, Benavidez was completely shut out of the first half of the plant fight. Completely shut out. Demetrius Andre, has not, he's yet to do, he is yet to be in a 50-50 fight. He's yet to be in a fight where you say, man, he could lose this fight. He hasn't been. And so we'll see how that works out for him, man. But nonetheless, it's a damn good fight. I'm not mad at it. I like it. I'm not overjoyed about it, you know. I, you know, um, it's a good fight, but it's also a rumor. It's also a rumor. It's on the rumor mill. I mean, shit, man. Chris Colbert is allegedly he's on the rumor mill for Tank Davis, and so is Isaac Cruz. He, they're on, they're both on the rumor mill, man. Um, so you know, you you know. We don't know for sure just yet, but if it is a fight on that's actually on the horizon and they in the middle of negotiations, I dig that. I dig that because that means both of them will have had two fights this year. I can salute that. I can salute that. I, you know, I hope it happens. I honestly do. I hope it happens. I hope it goes down and I hope they come to their senses and don't put that shit behind the paywall. Put that shit on regular Showtime te uh, television. So motherfuckers got easier access to it. 
So somebody has easier access. I, I'm not paying. I, I, I fucked up with the Caleb Plant fight and bought that shit. I will not buy this fight. I'm telling you that right now. I absolutely will not buy this fight. I'm not doing it. I'm not. I refuse to buy this fight. And that's my word. But I hope the fight happens. Real good fight. It needs to happen. Because I was, shit, I was under the impression that David... And that, that's another thing, man. Just you, As I've stated before, man, are y'all going to give Benavidez the same energy y'all was giving Canelo? Because he was supposed to be fighting David Morrell Jr. He's supposed to be fighting David Morrell. And he didn't look in every other direction except David Morrell. It was Munguia at first. And now we back to, now we to Andre, which I think, you know, Andre is a tougher fight than uh, Munguia. But, you know, like, what, what happened to, what happened to Morrell? You did you not go you not looking in the direction of a David Morrell. And I don't see any of your, you know, your sicker fans going it out of their way to let it be known that y'all man, he don't want no drama with Morrell. He don't want no drama with him. I'm not seeing a hundred posts a day in these threads talking about how David Benavidez is ducking David Morrell. I'm not seeing that shit. I don't see it nowhere. You know, so all in all, good fight. I, I, I'll tune in if it ain't on pay-per-view. You mark-ass nigga? <laughs> yeah, man. I'll tune in if the fight goes down on regular TV, man. But that's pretty much how I'm feeling about it. Y'all be easy. Deuces.